Good morning. How are we doing, everyone? I'm back. I survived the trip. Here I am, right back into it. Uh, so I'm starting to realize just how incredibly fake, broken, lost, and full of morons that this country is. Let it sink in. I know, I'm saying mean stuff, I get it, but it's true. So, I have to admit that I was going across this country to this funeral for a loved one, hoping that I could spot some genuine intelligence. And it's not hard to look for. You just look for people who don't do, say, and act stupid. Well, at almost every store I went to was somebody just being absolutely nasty about the things they wanted and they are them, this, that, me. Like... Ew. Disgusting. But the worst one was this gentleman in one of those blue and white striped shirts with the white collar just reaming this cashier. Just letting her have it about stuff not being done and the numbers and the sales and you need to be pushing this, that, blah, blah, blah. I mean, just letting her redden his face about how bad his store is doing. And I took my opportunity. I started it at all. I, I, if I had pulled out my phone and started recording, it would have ruined the whole thing. So I just had to go with it. Started laughing, and he looked at me like I'm crazy. And I'm like, oh, I thought you were telling a joke. Like this is it's your store, and you're yelling at the cashier about, oh, but you're obviously the one not doing their job. He stomped off into the back room, red, and I heard yelling noises in the back room. And the cashier didn't even know how to react. She was just like, wait, do you need anything else, sir? And I'm like, do you need anything else? Are you going to be okay? No, I'm, I'll be fine. I'll be good. And I left. The point is that people have become just completely morally devoid. They have lost all of their ability to function like a decent human being like they let they let arguments and bad feelings from a decade ago fester in their heart until they can't even function in their own life because they hate something so much because they're so angry about something because they're so much better than something it's all very selfish and very ignorant just let it go and walk on you are a person. You have very, very valuable things in your life that you can that you can apply yourself to. Things that mean something. Family and friends that actually don't act like one of these morally devoid automatons. If your boss is the kind of person who only cares about the bottom line, I suggest you get a new job. Because, well, it's only a matter of time until you're affecting that bottom line. See, that's what they do. They set you up for this long-term thing, and then just before you get to the point of getting your end of the deal, they fire you, they let you go, they tell you it was all your fault that you lost everything, despite the fact that you showed up to work every single day for 20 years. And this is why CEOs end up getting shot, or hunted, and death threats, and all these, like... The point is that don't work for bad people. Don't work for a terrible soul suck of a human being like some Duncan manager or owners that I know in the local Essex, Vermont area. Don't be an absolutely morally devoid, self-obsessed financier who only cares about money because you're going to end up lonely without anything. And somebody, like, the state's just going to end up taking what's left when you pass away and giving it to people that you hate, probably, because you're an elitist. 